you're not familiar with our T5 series, uh, we currently have two flavors. We have the T5, the original on the right, and the T5 glass, as you can see on the left, uh, which is our newer versions. The one on the right has a raised bezel that gives it a little bit of depth, whereas the T5 glass is completely flat screen. Now, you can use these things anywhere. They're ideal for houses of worship, conference rooms, auditoriums, hospitality, anywhere users need to control audio sources and levels. Now, you can design these however you want. Uh, there are slight limitations, but there, you're rarely going to encounter these. And it is PoE powered. As it says here, it's Ethernet powered, it's powered over PoE. What can you do with the T5? Well, as probably some of you are already familiar with, you've created control screens uh, within Composer and use them in SimView. So here's the control screen I've designed for my everyday use. Now, this is the home screen. And these are my everyday controls that work for me. My volume control, my compensation uh, controls over here. I can go from stereo to mono. I can turn on my external monitors or turn them off. Uh, I have headphone compensation for headphone models. So I have the EQ curve plotted out uh, to make them as flat as possible. And then I can go home. But as I can, you can see, I have multiple screens. I can go to my Bluetooth controls and it's all pretty easy. And I'll even show you. So I'll go ahead and export to the T5 right now and show you how simplistic it is. Right, and you should see it on the webcam right there. Here we go. So what I wanna do is I wanna create a second screen. All right, that's about as bare bones as it gets. So, but how do I link the two control screens? How do I control both of them with the T5? Well, in your toolkit, when you're creating control screens, you go up to your control screen viewer area and you have a button for the control screens that you've already created. As you can see, I have ones from my pe previous control screens that you saw, and then the two new ones I just created. So I'm on control screen number two currently. So I wanna drag in the control screen number one button, make that larger or whatever. Let's go ahead and size window sheet size. And then I wanna jump back to screen number one, do the same thing with control screen number two button. And of course, make it large enough to where when I export it, it's gonna be easily pressable. It's exactly the same as exporting to Sim View. As you can see here, you right click on an open area that's not on a parameter uh, within your control screen. You select export to Sim View, and then you select touch screens from your uh, destination. All right, and you should see it's exporting to the T5 glass in the webcam. There we go. Now here's the main screen. So the first screen that you click on to export is gonna be your home screen. Okay, and here you go. And then pressing that control screen button and I can cycle between the two.